Hi everyone, it's Paper Warm, and today um, I'm gonna make an empty journal collection video because I didn't upload any um, on this channel yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm kind of unprepared, like always, um, in the sense that I don't know where I got some journals from, but <laughs> whatever doesn't matter um this one i really just bought because of the typewriter typing yeah it's like a the size of a composition notebook it's by fringe but i got it at T, uh, tj max or tk max how we say in germany it's really nice i wanted to um make a writer's notebook out of it but so far I didn't film my other one yet, so I don't know, I'm just laying around. Some of you might remember that I bought a pack of 12 journals uh, and different coffee designs. Those are the ones, uh, the four different designs. And I got, no wait, yeah, 12, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I got three of each color. And I show you the inside. <coughs> Sorry. I'm I am, um, <coughs> you know, <laughs> I don't need to explain my coughing, I guess. Um, the lines are small, kind of like you can compare them to a moleskin, the, the lining of a moleskin. Uh, so narrow lined and it's, it's really cute and small, but the lining, uh, the ruling was going on my nerves. Really, there is... Almost no journal that doesn't have this narrow ruling, and I I hate it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, God knows when I will ever use those. This is just a little tiny. I I like to uh, write character journals in cheap things like this. Wait, I I lose my ring, so let's get rid of it. Uh, all right, so yeah, nothing special to say to that. This is a gift from an old school mate. Um, when I was in 10th grade, she was in 7th grade or, or so. And so we knew each other on the school ground. And um, we were never like the bestest friends in the universe. But um, lately, um, she's in contact with my best friend. And she told her that I'm collecting journals from all over the world. So... Everyone is now collecting journals uh, from every time they travel. So she brought me this from Morocco, which is a handmade, hand-stitched... Um, it's really precious. Precious. I have no clue how to say that word, but... This is a Ravenclaw journal. It's also um, really small. I'm, I think I go through small ones right now. And... Um, when I bought it, I didn't know it was this small because we use, um, you know, centimeters. And um, when I see something that is uh, in inches and stuff, I I have no clue what that means, you know. <laughs> so this one says journal. It's also kind of small, a little bit bigger than the A6 size and also has bigger ruling, which I like. No clue where this... Oh, yeah. My best friend's boyfriend got this from Miami somewhere, but... I but don't know which store. I can't say. <clears throat> this was... Um, wait, I think I'm not focusing. Okay. <laughs> so this was a, a Christmas present from my brother and his girlfriend. They didn't have much money and they didn't know what to gift me. And I said I don't want anything, but they insisted, you know, like everyone does always. So they bought me this journal, which is similar to the small leather one that I used last year uh, in November. also has this brown craft paper. It's really nice. I really like that one. I was eyeballing it for a long time. Um, and I didn't tell them about this. They picked it on their own, which... I thought it was cool because, you know, connection. This is a, a Leuchtturm. Yeah, a Leuchtturm. 
which is the German version of a moleskin, I guess, just with a little bit better paper quality. Yeah, I got this from my postcard pen pal, um, Jay, I think. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget about it, um, where I got things from, but I really like this. I don't know what type of journal I want right now. I'm, um, I'm looking at those right now because my other journal, which I cannot show you right now, it's not with me, is soon to be filled. Okay, I have like 25 pages or so. And the question is now which journal to use next. But none of those are really like hitting me in the face right now and be like, I'm next. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I have uh, my journal picking what I use is connected to emotions, you know, and I, I don't know, I cannot explain it, but I think you know what I mean. It's like you see, you, you pick a certain journal and you just know this is the one that you use next, right? But I don't have this feeling right now, so yeah, I'm kind of, whatever. <laughs> this is a cute journal. It was also, no, was this a present? Uh, maybe I bought it myself. I, I don't know. It's one of those. I wanted to make a book of shadows out of this, but then I discovered that those pages are made out of a co it has some type of cotton or something like. It feels like fabric, and so I just did not know what what pen to use in those. So I did not use it after all, which is the same, I think, with this one, which was a present by my friend Ray, who lives in Berlin. It's the same handmade um, paper and it has the same type of, I don't know, I think the only thing I could really use would be a ballpoint pen. Something that does not get soaked into the paper. So ballpoint pen or any other ink will not work. Ah yeah, see I tr even tried here. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, sometimes I'm really obsessed with my fountain pen right now because I bought new inks, right? And so I cannot use a journal that cannot keep the ink, right? So um, this is a really old journal. It was one of those children's diaries, right? And of course, I put on some paper and some charm from an old necklace. And I made it a book of shadows, but I only used, um, I don't know, 30 pages or so. And um, the, I really like the lock and everything. But you can assume when this gets bulky, you cannot close it anymore. Oh yeah, look, the pages are still in here from my book of shadows. Yeah, it has blank pages, really thin. But... I will. I want to use it as a journalist at some point now because memory is really nostalgic. Um, I think those cat journals you saw <laughs> at some point, but I'm still not sure when to use them or for what. Um, same goes for those. They are like, um, you know. Um, how do you call it? exercise books but in a5 size and I have a lot of those things in different uh, paper qualities different designs you know because I mostly use them for character journals when I don't know how long if I will fill it up you know sometimes a character journal is just based on a simple idea and then I write 10 pages and the idea is gone it's over <laughs> And I don't want to waste a pretty expensive notebook for this. This is a, a hammer notebook. It was really cheap. I bought it as um, for a dream journal. Because I had already a great dream journal before. But this one is glued and not bound. So it's really hard to open and it doesn't lay flat. So yeah, same goes for this one. Which is also from Hema. And it's pink so no... <laughs> <laughs> this is a sketchbook. <clears throat> this was actually quite expensive, I think. I I mean like 12 bucks or so. For me that's expensive. Okay. I 
I heard that was a really good sketchbook and I wanted to use it as a journal, but I never came to it in the end. It has even a pen here. This is another notebook from Hema. It has 400 pages. It's really nice, but the pages, the paper, is uh, also not very thick. And I also have, it has great ruling. It has college ruling, which I love. That's my favorite ruling. But the pages can only keep ballpoint pen, I think. Look, I... I try to make it like a positivity uh, journal and stuff. I, <laughs> that's like kind of like the house of my dreams, you know. I don't have extravagant uh, wishes. <laughs> I just want a house. So I, I kind of want to use this at some point, but 400 pages is so... Uh, you, you know what I'm... Do, do you like my bed sheets? <laughs> So, uh, I don't know, 400 pages is always like, you are stuck with it for so long and I get bored so quick, so I, I don't know. Um, This little thing was a Japan import, I think. A long time ago, I bought it for uh, 12 bucks or so, <laughs> because I was fan of cutesy things. I mean, I think you don't know this about me, but... I watch anime. I'm fan of Japanese culture and brands, you know. So I'm I'm totally into cute things, even though uh, most people think I'm super dark and everything. My other side looks like this, <laughs> which is you know kind of I don't know. I wouldn't say my secret, but I never really said it out loud. This one is a handmade um, Millie Rose journal. She made this for me. So, Meili, you're probably watching it right now. So, um, what kind of pens can you use on this paper? I wasn't sure because of the, the crinkling here. Um, about, um, a fountain pen would like scratch over the wrinkles. So, I wasn't sure which pens to use in here. Maybe you can tell me. What is good in here? Yeah, I reinforced uh, the first page with um, some craft paper because it was too flimsy. I, you know, I thought if I write on the first pages, it will be like, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, it's really nice. I just didn't came to use it yet. This was another gift by also um, one of our journal community friends, but. Do I remember her name right now? She's from England. That's what I know. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I know so many people now. And uh, they come from so many different places. I really cannot remember. I, I, like, right now. So. This is a kind of like a book of shadows, I guess. Or it has the design of one. And it also has this wand which is a pen that you can sharpen if you want to but i don't want to i mean it's too cool so paper quality is bad honestly it's one of those scratchy cheap papers but um the design is just cool so the design wins over the paper quality i guess so yeah this one is oh, i don't know where this comes from i think i bought it at um TJ Maxx and it came from something like India or something I don't know has also has uh, 400 pages and <laughs> yeah made made in India you can't see it but it says there right there <clears throat> yeah it has really nice paper but again it's so thick uh... <sighs> there's another small one I have some of those, which were also a gift, but the binding uh, prevents it from laying any flat. It can only be like this, and you know, you struggle. <laughs> so let's move them aside here. Uh, the only things left are here and those. This was a gift by my best friend. Because she's also now collecting journals for me. And so a lot of journals are gifts from her. 
which includes this one really pretty um lots of people i think pointed that out for springtime or this one for springtime but you know me and colors that's um a difficult thing there are many times where i really don't want to use colors yeah. as, as a journal i mean or i want to cover the front up but uh, it would be a almost something evil to cover this up because it's really beautiful <laughs> so yeah i i don't know this has really nice lining it is um from a brand called goldbuch which is german really nice <coughs> also i got from her this one which um It has really white lining, which is nice, but it doesn't lay flat at all. I tried to work in the binding, but it didn't really uh, work. So. Not sure when and how to use this one. I also got from her this one, which has um, felt. This also came from Miami, I think. I don't know the brand. Mm hmm <laughs> informational it has um, teal colored lines thick paper it feels nice actually it feels very nice I'm just afraid I cannot uh, glue anything on it I cannot personalize it so which is always a problem for me i need to be my journals need to scream this is my journal you know this is why i glue things on top and uh, sometimes a simple reason just as i cannot decorate the cover can make me not choose that journal you know this is just a sketchbook which was really bad really bad sketchbook but maybe i can at some point use it that's a mold skin that I didn't use yet. Also because of paper quality, because it couldn't hold my fountain pen. There comes a time when I buy new um, ballpoint pens and then I forget about my fountain pen for a while. And that's the time when I'm going to use all the journals that cannot hold the fountain pen ink. Yeah, that was also a gift. Who gifted this to me? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> So that was a gift. I got a package from New Zealand not long ago. I think you remember it was the one with all these stickers. And this one, this journal here actually, that's pretty cool. You know why? Because this is metal. This this whole thing is metal, okay? It's really cool. It's really cold, you know, cold metal. I think I'm going to use it in in summer because it's so cool it feels cool right so this was also a gift uh, from the same person uh, what's your name trish 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 mason yeah so <laughs> this one is also very nice but i had also i think did i have no i didn't have too many problems with the pages i did already make ink tests everywhere you know so um, this one is just from TJ Maxx, I think, and it has craft paper with white lines, which I really like. I wanted to make it my new private journal, maybe, but because the other one is full. Uh, ha! I think we got everything here. We covered everything, which is good. It's, it's late. We have already almost 20 minutes. <clears throat> So, so yeah, those are all my journals and I have no clue which one of those I should use next. <sighs> if it was your decision, which one would you choose? I don't know if that helps me in any kind of way, but if you like, you can drop your opinion. <laughs> okay, bye.